Okay, little chefs, today is Monday. What time is it right now? Monday, 9.15. Um, going out in our video. This will go out on Wednesday. one last night and I thought well I'm gonna pull this video out because I thought it was gonna be a neat little recipe so I showed you how to make a chicken meatloaf I showed you how I made my meatloaf and how I cook my meat I do not cook it in the oven I always cook it in the crock I used to cook it in the oven and then my family um like, I changed it up, and I was like, well, I'm going to try it in the crock. And found out it is better in the crock pot. And the family loves it. Um, so you can cook this on low heat and go to work next day when you're going to work next day. You can make it up at night time before you go to bed. Put it in your refrigerator. And all you have to do is pop it out of your refrigerator and put it in your crock on low low setting. I don't know how your crock pots work. But mine's got low, high, and warm. You can put it on low. And um, while you're gone at work that day, you got dinner cooking. The only thing really you got to do is come home and make... Whatever else you're going to make with it. You know, mashed potatoes or baked potatoes or boiled potatoes or fried potatoes. It's whatever you're going to make with your meatloaf that night. Um, but this one's a little bit different. This is going to be a pizza meatloaf. Um, I was reading the recipe one and I was just, you know, I do read recipes all the time. And... I'm trying to pull out some different recipes for you all so you guys can have easier ways and stuff like that. And I've been saying that since day one. So, this is the reason why I'm doing this one. This one is going to be done in a crock pot. I'm going to cook it slow. And I'm going to make it into a pizza meatloaf. So, what we're going to do is make my regular meatloaf recipe. And then... Um, we're going to put it in the center of it. I got some uh, string cheese. Not string cheese. Uh, mozzarella cheese sticks. And we're going to put pepperoni in the center of it. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So what I'm doing right now. I got onion soup mix in here. Um, it's one of my favorites for making stuff. This is onion soup mix. I uh, left an onion soup mix. I put one package of that in there. Because it is more saltier and then your beef bases and stuff. What, you got shout outs? One. Which one is that? Nakia Webb. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> Mama just saw that. Sorry, y'all. So you want to put about a tablespoon of garlic powder and it's already got minced onions in so I'm going to add a little bit more minced onions to it because that's what I usually do so add a little bit more to it just enough to have it in there and then we got this in, uh, breadcrumbs that we found at Walmart it's very good it's got like a uh, Romaine cheese in it, um, and it's very good. It's got a good flavor to it. It's called Four Seed Bread Crumbs. That's what I said. We found that at Walmart. I'm going to add it to this. Um, it's probably got some Italian seasoning in it. it. smells very good. I like it a lot. I usually add about a cup of that. And then... I'm going to put some black pepper in it. Just enough for a taste. 
And then I put four eggs in there in the meatloaf. That's what I usually do. And the eggs are for a binder, if a lot of people don't know that. Um, it binds the bread and makes it in to, you know, one. And all you newcomers, keep your eggshells for your garden. Yep. We save our eggshells for our garden. It's nutrients. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why he's setting them on the table. I don't throw them away. I save them. I put them in. I When my container on my coffee pot gets full, I put it in a big Ziploc bag, and then I crush them. Because they're easier to sprinkle on the garden that way. You want to mix it up? Mama likes mixing up the meatloaf. Because she does a good job, too. You don't like it. I'll mix it up if you want me to. It's up to you. I'm going to let her mix it up. She enjoys doing it. You want some Ruby? She's right there. And, oh, get a little piece of hamburger for Ruby. I forgot to. If you can. No, you can't. And there's Ruby. She's taking off running. Sorry, garbage on the floor. See, she's over here mixing it up. We always do dinner stuff together. Me and Mama does. We're always doing stuff together. She helps me get the stuff ready. Set up on the table and everything. She's always there helping me out. And I'm always there to help her out when she does baking. No mind the garbage on the floor. It's because we're getting ready to take garbage. It's garbage day tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm in the process of gathering it up. Tomorrow's garage day, so we get all the garage gathered up and one. Well, we gave that job to our 16-year-old daughter, and she just refuses. So we're going to give it to our 12-year-old son now. <laughs> well, he can lift him in. He, he said he's a he's a man now. Don't mind the dishes in the sink. It's what she supposedly washed last night. Yeah, we had. A, she had a fallout last night. No, she didn't have a fallout. She just chose not to do them. I don't know if you guys got teenagers like that. <laughs> so I'm opening up the cheese right now. What's funny is when uh, her and daddy get into it, and cause she'll start refusing to do this and that, and he'll go, okay, I refuse to fix your food. And she'll go, uh-uh, you can't do that. And he says, watch me. <laughs> Teenagers. Do you yeah, have to like, love them? It's just part of having teenagers. That's what Papa always says. <laughs> I was never that way to my mom and dad. So. My sister was. I wasn't. My mom and dad, especially my dad, he beat the hell out of us. <laughs> That's why I grew up the, the way I am now, because you took a beating from your dad. I don't know how it was back then when you kid were kids, but daddy was the one that you took a beating by. It started. Get this up here. So, I got the cheese sticks open, see? The meat's stirred. So, you want to make a pocket. So, you get your meatloaf into a form. You want to make a pocket down in the center. Because what you're going to do is you're going to put meat on top of the sticks. So, what you do, take your cheese sticks, shove them down in the center of this. Just like this. Hang on, guys. My, my camera's moving, and I've only got one hand right now. Then you take some pepperoni. <laughs> it says no. Why is it like no? I don't know. Then you take some pepperoni. 
You put it down in the center of this too. And if you like veg extra vegetables, you can add extra vegetables. Like you're making a garden pizza, you can add extra vegetables. So I'm putting pepperoni down in the center of this. And you take the meat, put it over top of it. Sealed up. Just like that. And then that's going to cook. It takes all day because you're cooking in a crock pot. And when it gets done, um, it'll be a perfect meatloaf, and it'll have cheese and pepperoni in it. And then I got my Garden Fresh sauce. That's from our garden. I add um, tomato paste to it to thicken it up, and that's what we're going to put over you're going to put it over top of it, and I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Um, so, there we go, guys. So, we'll be back in a few minutes to show you all what it looks like when we start putting the sauce on. So, see you in a few. Peace. All right, Papa's back. Now, the second stage of it. It's been cooking. You can put the sauce on, and if you're going to be working, you can put the sauce on. While you're at work. In the beginning. Yep, in the beginning. If you're not, just wait until about three hours or two. Whatever time you put it on, give it a couple hours. And what I'm doing next is putting my homemade sauce on. I'm going to throw some of these mozzarella pieces on it from the sticks. And I'll melt it on top. And I'm going to throw a little bit of Parmesan on it what I'm working on right now so there's that part next thing is that's some parmesan cheese I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of parmesan cheese on top and then do that some oregano this pizza has oregano on it there's some oregano and now that I cook until dinner I'm going to turn it down on low because I had it on high for a while so there you go guys so we'll be back when it's done and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done so I'll see you in a little bit peace there's pizza meatloaf y'all Looks beautiful. And I'm going to have some tater salad with mine tonight. And some meatloaf. Um, I made tater cakes for Mama. She likes tater cakes and everybody else does. I do too, but I thought, well, tater salad needs to be eaten up. So I thought, well, I'll eat some of it up. Because I made, we made some chicken out on the grill and tater salad one day. I don't know how many people eat tater salad around here. Around your guys' area, how many people in your family eat tater salad? I don't know. So, Mama's going to say a prayer real quick for everybody. So, go ahead, Mama. Dear Lord, thank you for the food we're about to eat. Please help our channel keep growing so it can become monetary. Please let our landlord put us in a different trailer. This one's not worth fixing up. Please help everybody in this world. Amen. Thank you, Mama. So, and if you're new and we ain't got your name yet, please send us a message so we know. We got a Facebook channel. If you want to private message us, you can do that through the Facebook channel. Um, 
is like and subscribe the videos um and if you're not subscribed please subscribe it helps us out a lot and if you guys want to buy me coffee it's up to you not up to us but we appreciate it if you do it's i don't care if you don't want to it don't bother me i just want you to watch my videos so y'all have a great day and it's 327 now is when i got done with the dinner y'all have a great day and you take care y'all Peace.